Welcome to Nutridence Chef. Previously, we created a video about cooking New York steak. With sautéed vegetables, it made a low-carb, nutritious, and very delicious meal. This time, we'll share a way of cooking the steak differently. We'll cook two pieces of 12-ounce steak. We first salt the steak. Sprinkle salt on all sides like this. Salt enhances the flavor. Then, put the steak over paper towels on a plate. Place in a refrigerator overnight, uncovered. The next day, the surface is demoisturized and looks like this. Now start by warming up the steak. Put the steak on a baking pan. Place in a lit, closed oven for about an hour or until they are at room temperature. Take the steak out. Turn on the oven to 250 degrees. Then place the steak back in. Bake for 25 minutes. As we bake the steak, we can prepare the vegetables. We have spinach, carrots, and an onion. Cut the onion into slices like this and the carrots into thin slices. Butter and heat a pan, then add the onions first. Sear for about a minute or until the other side turns brown. Caramelizing gives the onions a wonderful flavor. Stir the onions, then add the sliced carrots. Stir, then cover for a minute. Add spinach. Cover the pan so that the steam softens the spinach. Once the spinach softens, stir and mix the vegetables. Now that 25 minutes are up, we take the steak out. The steak now looks browned. Place the steak on a grilling pan. Sear at high heat for two minutes. Flip the steak. Sear the other sides for two minutes. You can sear each side one minute if you want the steak more rare. Take the steak out and let it cool slightly before we cut it. Compared to last time, the steak feels firmer when we cut it. As you can see, it looks slightly over medium rare. Last time, we seared the steak before baking. This time, we reversed the order. To serve, simply add soy sauce, sesame seeds, and sesame dressing, or the low-sugar sauce of your choice, to the steak and vegetables. You will enjoy this delicious, low-carb, and nutrient-dense dish. This reverse-seared steak still tastes tender, with a firmer texture compared to last time. So how you sear steak depends on what kind of texture you like more. In either case, as you can see, this is very simple to cook. Please be sure to click that subscribe button for more great recipes like this. Thank you for watching.